From the campus studios of Sarlan University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello, everyone. My name is Peter, and you are listening to Ropecast, the podcast on interesting, funny, strange, and surprising aspects of the English language. Well, and this means we have quite a lot of topics in store for you. And when I say we, that is not myself alone. That is a friend of mine and a colleague of mine, Roger Charlton. Hi, Roger. Hi, Peter. Well, and、uh, Roger, actually, you're the one who's got the topic list sitting on his lap, so、That's、you、right. might as well tell our listeners what we have in store for them in the next. Few weeks, right? Yeah. For example, does it matter if I make a grammatical mistake when I'm using English, or、mm-hmm. is I it? Sh- I sure hope it doesn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe it's more important to get the words right, the vocabulary right. Which is a problem for me too, from time <laughs> to time, since I am not a native speaker of English. So, guys out there and girls, bear with me. I'm in the same boat with you. And then perhaps we'll take a look at、uh, sport and sports.、Uh-huh, For example,、uh-huh. how do you understand the word football? Okay. Well, I understand it as being a game that is really rough for tough guys like me. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, you cannot see me in the studio, but I have really broad shoulders. And, and for、uh, me, it would be soccer. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. You're more the elegant. <laughs> Person, thank, thank you. <laughs> And then some practical hints about. Well, is it a good idea to go to an English-speaking country to get、mm-hmm. more practice?、Mm-hmm. If so, which country? How do I organize myself?、Mm-hmm. How do I pay for it? Are there yeah, scholarships? Yeah, where do I get the money? Exactly. Scholarships, training abroad. One thing that is interesting for me. Once I am there, how do you make the most of it? I mean, you're there in the English-speaking world, and、uh, you're saying, "How do I improve my English here?" I mean,、yeah. they know it, but how do I get better? That's right. So there'll be plenty of tips, uh huh, plenty of topics, and plenty of things that we will try to explain to you that may be confusing to non-native speakers of English, especially to Germans. And since we're talking about confusing things, a few、oh, one thing that may be confusing to everybody who is listening to us right now is actually the title of our podcast, yes, which is Ropecast. And well, there's more than one reason for this title. The first and most straightforward reason is actually our names. Yeah, my name is Roger, which gives us R O, and my name is Peter, which gives you. P.E. and of course we are doing a podcast, and together this gives us Ro P cast Rope cast. Yes, but that's not the only reason actually. No, we're also thinking a rope is kind of、um, something you could grab hold of, something to give you security if you're sinking, drowning,、uh, drowning in that sea of words、yes. that is the English language. Right, right. So. Folks, we are actually trying to throw you guys and you girls, of course, a lifeline to survive when you are speaking English. I hope you can understand us because this is a podcast for advanced learners. But we're trying to speak slowly here, and we're trying to get you a little bit further in your English learning process. And next time we will have something really interesting for you, which are words that are called false friends, and we're going to tell you, for example, why it may come in handy to have a beamer with you if you're traveling across the USA.、Uh, That's not, right. Not、yeah. surprising to you, Roger, but maybe to a few of you. I think so. So、uh, stay tuned or tune in again. Download that podcast. Keep it on your iTunes. When we're going to talk about beamers and stuff next time, so here's us, Roger and Peter, signing off for this week. Bye bye for now. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Sarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. You know what, Roger? There's still a lot of things I don't get. And you never will.